Hi friends, welcome back to Riles Rising. My name is Katie and in today's video, I am sharing with you a shop with me winter haul from Goodwill. We're shopping the farm store. I'm going shopping at Goodwill by myself. I'm going to show you what I bring back from there. And then I also got some other stuff for my kiddos for winter, but we have a birthday coming up and we have Christmas coming up and my kids watch my channel, so I can't share those items with you yet, but I will do a birthday haul when I wrap Hagen's gifts later this month. And then I will do a Christmas haul when I wrap the kids stuff later this season. So today's video is what I got for myself, my work clothes, my attire for my house, because y'all, a few of you have commented about me wearing bathrobes. Listen, I have autoimmune diseases that make me intolerant to cold, so I'm frozen all the time. It is a decent day outside today, and I am layered up with a long sleeve shirt, a thick flannel, sweatpants, hiking boots, warm wool socks, the works. And that's just how it is. When you see me wearing a bathrobe in my videos, I don't wear my bathrobes out of the shower, first of all. I get a towel off and I get dressed in the bathroom because it's a warm room and I'm freezing. So bathrobes for me are overcoats. They're what I wear over top of my clothes in my house because I'm frozen and they're long robes. They go to the floor. They can wrap around my clothing. But let me tell you something. I found a solution. My solution was to spend money and buy warm clothes, actual warm clothes. So I'm going to share with you in this video. I bought a few new things for my birthday for myself. Um, and then i I bought some things from Goodwill just to help keep me warm throughout the winter. So I'm excited to share with you guys. If you suffer from cold intolerance, maybe these will give you ideas too. So the new things I bought were from Backcountry. They were, everything was on sale. I got amazing deals on brand new clothing items, quality products. And then of course the Goodwill items. I saved a massive bundle on all of that. I hit the mother load at Goodwill and I don't always find things for myself and I don't always find things for my kids at Goodwill. So when I look, it's typical that a person will purge their closet and dump everything at the thrift store and then all of that stuff will be available at once. And I think that's what happened for me today because <laughs> it's happened for my kids too. I found like one child, a whole new wardrobe of things and I found a whole new wardrobe for myself for winter, basically, aside from pants. Like, I need pants, but that's coming in the backcountry haul. So I wanted to share with you guys these goods, give you some ideas of what to look out for yourself if you are facing a freezing cold winter. So I hope you like what I got. This video is sponsored by Teddy Blake. Have you been wanting a new handbag? You are in luck because right now Teddy Blake is having their handbag appreciation sale and you can save huge on genuine leather handbags just like this one that I own right here. I absolutely love this handbag. I love it because it's got so much room. I can fit all my kids water bottles in it. Not only can I fit all of my kids water bottles in this handbag, and I've done it before, including my water bottle, but I can put a smaller purse to carry into stores inside of my Teddy Blake handbag as well. I, I have so much room in this bag, you all. Just endless, endless, endless room. I've got so many things in here. I can also fit my scarf, a sweatshirt, hand gloves, keys, you name it. I can pack a lunch in there, snacks for the kids, so much room. So don't miss out on this sale. Be sure to check down in this video's description. The first line in the description box is going to give you all the details to this Teddy Blake handbag sale. So if you're looking for an amazing genuine leather handbag, check out Teddy Blake linked down below in the first line in this video's description box and enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Today I have with me my two kiddos. We are gonna do a little bit of winter gear shopping, get them all set up, see if we can find any deals. Probably not because it's not the season for good deals. And I'm not gonna go on the search for secondhand boots this time. This time we're gonna go and get them some brand new boots because uh, they are our mi middle kids. It's Hagen and Torsten and they are able to hand their boots down two to three more times, possibly. They'll probably be worn out before then because in the winter time we live in snow boots and we get the really heavy duty kind, like the farm boots, the bog boots, um, 
that's what we typically go for because they last the longest and they're super warm and the kids can wear thick socks with them and they stay out in the snow for hours and hours and hours. So those boots have been the most durable for us. We can usually get two to three years out of a pair of boots, maybe if we're lucky. Riker, he's the hardest on the boots out of all the kids. Sometimes we can only get one more kid use after he goes through a pair of boots. Um, a lot of times his shoes are trashed and they just, we have to get new boots or new shoes for Hagen and Torsten anyways. So we're learning, <laughs> we're learning as we go. So one thing that we have learned is we need to buy quality, good products so that we can get them through a couple of kids. And that's how we try to save money. I don't know if it really saves us money in the long run. Um, we do buy used when we can, but for the most part, certain things like shoes, we buy some used if we can find good ones in good shape, but for the most part, we are now buying brand new stuff. So we are gonna head into Grange Co-op. This is the Rogue one. We are in Klamath Falls, Southern Oregon, and this is the farm store co-op that we are gonna go into and see what kind of items we can find. Yeah, try not to spend too much money. So we have been checking out the boots for kids and look at all these cute little cowboy boots they have here. And down here, they've got all the black ones for 79. You can get rainbows for 74. These are camos for 89, 74 for the space, which I thought were really cool. And then my favorites, Bodie already has these. They're hand-me-downs from Annika. Those are 69 and they also have them in black, but neither one of my kids wanted those. And so they picked out their booties. Look how pretty these ones are. I can't believe how much rain boots cost, cost these days, but those are really pretty. I already have some bogs. Let's go get some beanies or look at the beanies. These are super cute. These are $74. And then my favorites, these boots right here. But my goodness, the price of boots, $160 for some cute little rain boots. Y'all, they have the cutest little Carhartt bunting, baby bunting. They've got them in maroon. They've got them in this little black one. What size is this? Size five? Annika size cute but the baby bunting outfits are cute they have little pockets on them so cute 18 months 24 months i don't know if they have boys ones i haven't seen the boys ones yet this little baby car hearts this one has deer on it <laughs> yeah just look at these little jean car hearts union suit they also have, these little outfits are cute. They're just fleece and sweatpants, the like sweatpants. Uh-oh, hold on. They have some really cute outfits for kids at your local farm store. Super cute stuff. Check out your farm store. I thought these ones were really cute. And then for the big boys, they have these types of shirts, which we like warm flannels. We like natural fibers, cottons. They've got sweatshirts, of course. Oh, here's a, another one of these. That's a 3T, so you would get that for Bodie, but I wouldn't because he has tons of clothes. They also have these super cozy socks. Look how cute cute the colors are and kids beanies uh, look at this one i like this one it looks like a torsten hat it does look like a torsten color doesn't it yeah i'm gonna go look at this I have one of these. You saw me wearing it earlier in this video. It is black and white, but it's really comfortable. It's so cozy, super warm. The flannel fabric is really, really thick and durable. I've enjoyed it. Oh, the stuffies. Oh, they have the cutest things. 
Oh, look at the little cows. Please. How cute is that? How cute. So $11.99. Oh, I think you can probably use some of your Carol money for that. Yeah. Look at these cute little dragons. Oh my goodness. Isn't that adorable? No, that is so cute. Good. With the puppy. The puppy's super cute. Look at this. Is this an elk? What is this? <gasps> what about Bodie? Christmas or birthday? An elk? Is this a baby elk? Or no, no, that's a I one. think so. Look at the little pig and the bear. What's this? Oh, they're llamas. All the farm animals and dolls. $20 aprons. Super cute. This one's a super cute print. This one is my jam. I like that. What you looking at, Willis? All of these products from the Bend Soap Company. They smell so good. They have different deodorants, apricot, baking soda free. Citronella incense eucalyptus plant. Uh, oh, those, are, Mom, those are cool. Those are cool. Do they have any copper mm. bottles here? No, I thought this was copper. No, not on the inside. That's stainless steel. I don't make it out to shop a whole lot, so I'm really enjoying browsing this store with all my kids. Oh, I finally found all the canning supplies. Look at these pressure canners. We've got an electric water bath canner. I don't know why I've never seen one of those before. I like all these flip top jars and then they've got a cherry pitter. Look at this Ohio stoneware. And this is one of those jam sieving kits. So I really like that stoneware fermenting stuff as well. When we lived in England, we had these types of jars at the hardware stores. We didn't have the same types of canning jars that we have here, the ball jars with the separate lids and rings. The ones that we had available to us in the UK were the flip top with the rubber seals on them. So this has taken me back to my canning days when I lived in Suffolk, England. I also need to grab one of these small cases of jelly jars. Those are what my kids like to drink out of, the little half pint jars. And I also use those for batches of elderberry jelly. The farm store has all of your ball accessories, including these lids for your mason jar tops. We've got the canning jar sealer kit. This is what I use when I dry can goods or when I seal my dried goods in my jars. And then this is also the multi-top that I have when I pour my raw milk. You all have been asking about those, but now they sell them in the stores. Not only are they available on Amazon, you can get them at your local farm store. They're very sturdy and you can pour from your glass gallon jars or any of your wide mouth or regular mouth lids. I really like these for to-go glass jars or pour, drink, and store as they say. And then these are the fermenting products that I use. I have these lids right here, these pickle tops, pickle pipes. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and grab my jar because I am done looking at all this canning stuff and the kids and I are ready to go. So let's pick up these jelly jars. Hagen ended up with actually Torsten ended up with those boots. He wanted to match Bodie. And then Hagen ended up with these just plain black bog boots, despite my efforts to persuade her to get the black and green ones that I thought were cool because they were $10 cheaper and they were all black with just a green stripe around them. Exactly like these, but these were $10 more, but she insisted on these. So we compromised and she got what she wanted. <laughs> Later that week, I went into Goodwill to try to find myself some warm sweaters, some warm tops, and I found these. Oh my goodness. I am beyond excited about these cast iron skillets, $12 and some change each. Yes, they are super cruddy. They are very much 
bulletproof grime on these pans, but we're going to take them home. We're going to restore these pans and bring them back to their youthful glow. And I couldn't be more excited about it because antique pans are smooth. They have a very smooth surface and you can't get that in the modern day cast iron pans that you get unless you want to spend a couple hundred dollars. All right, this is a wool blend, recycled wool blend pullover. It's a snap neck pullover from Toad & Co. I got this on super sale from their website. Uh, if you are interested, I don't remember exactly what I paid, but it was around $40 for this. Yes, I bought it new. I buy very few things new. I typically buy everything from the Goodwill, but this was too amazing to pass up. So I actually grabbed these items before I went shopping at Goodwill. So these were my birthday presents to myself. So this lovely warm hoodie, it's amazing. And wait till you see these insane pants. So these are fleece pants, very heavy duty fleece pants. They are lined with this lovely silk fabric. I got these from Back Country. This is Basin and Range brand and it's just a super warm fleece sweatpant. They have pockets that are lined and the print is really cute. So I thought that those were really cute sweatpants. Uh, yes, they're bulky when they're on. Um, they look bulky, but these are what I'm going to be wearing around the house this winter to keep me warm. I mean, look at that bulky fleece. This is what I need to keep me cozy and warm. And I was wearing these the other day around the house and oh my goodness, wonderful. All right, I also grabbed these backcountry sweatpants, and these are also lined. This is backcountry brand from the backcountry website. Lined, pockets, drawstring, everything I need in my life because I'm, I got an itty-bitty waist, and so things don't fit me in the length or the waist properly. So a drawstring on my sweatpants is very important because they don't fit me around the waist. No size small sweatpants fit me around the waist. I have to drawstring them. And yes, amazing. They're so super soft and they have drawstrings at the bottom. So if they are too long on you, you can cinch them up and they'll stop right at your ankles above your boots. So you can make them tapered or you can just wear them normal. Last but not least are these Patagonia. These were also on sale from Backcountry. So some Patagonia pants, sweatpants. They are really warm. They are a thick, thick sweatshirt material. They do have this print down the side of the pants. They have a drawstring, super nice color and very, very warm. So this is what I have to wear. You know, I can't wear a nice business attire for my videos. I'm going to be wearing warm, thick, clothes this winter. So if you guys think I've packed on a few pounds, maybe I have. No, I'm not pregnant. I'm just wearing warm, cozy clothes. When I say I scored big time at Goodwill, I'm telling you what, I scored big time. This is an Eddie Bauer cotton knitted cardigan. I got it for $9.49. This is a off-brand universal thread sweater. I really like the color. It's really, really soft. It looked good on me. So $7.49 for this really nice sweater in new condition. This is a Lucky Brand sweater. It's very soft for $8.49 for this one. I thought it was super cute and it looked nice on. These are a very nice warm pair of pants from Stitch and Pine. They were $8.29. They're like a sweater material. This is a warm, fuzzy cowl neck sweater from Land's End. Great price on that. And then this is another fuzzy pullover or a zippy pullover, three quarter zip from Eddie Bauer. It's really cute on. $9.49. It's very, very cozy. I really liked this and Hagen can actually wear it too. <laughs> so this top was really nice. I looked at it online, a Knox and Rose. Uh, to buy used online, it was $39, but I got it for $8.49. This is a merino wool cowl neck 
long sweater dress for $8.49, you all. Merino wool, it has this really cool little zipper hidden pocket right here. It's nice and thin and I can wear that on my walks. This is also a merino wool shirt. So I got these, even though I'm not a huge fan of the colors, but I got them because they're merino wool. $8.49, this one's from Patagonia. Super warm base layer. And then this is a top that I grabbed, just a long sleeve plain top that I can wear underneath my sweaters for $7.49. Can't go wrong with that, it's a nice cotton blend. This is a tunic top from Old Navy. It is just a cotton top. I really like the way it looked and I can wear that underneath sweaters as well. Yellow tags were half off today. And then I grabbed this cotton top. It's just a really cute shirt 849 that I can wear over top of my biker shorts in the summertime, but I picked it up now. And then these amazing cast iron pans. What a steel deal for antique vintage cast iron that I can restore. I can get all of this junk off here with some special stuff that I'm gonna share with you about in a future video. So that's coming up. I actually am almost done restoring these cast iron pans now that this video is up. So that video is gonna be coming out really soon. So I'm gonna teach you how to find old antique cast iron and easily restore it at home and bring it back to its new state. It's gonna be beautiful. Stay tuned, we're gonna be restoring those cast iron pans. I'm excited to do that with you all here on this channel. It's something I have been intimidated to do for so many years, but now that I've done it, I am no longer intimidated. If you are intimidated and you have cast iron pans that you need cleaned, you can send them to me. Check down below in this video's description for my email address and my shipping address. If you want your cast iron skillet restored, ship it to me and for a small fee, I will take care of that for you. Just shoot me an email. Maybe you wanna wait and see what these pans look like before you do that or maybe you wanna do it yourself. It's affordable, it's a great way to bring your cast iron skillets back to life. Look, I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek right now. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek, okay? This is the cast iron skillet that I picked up from Goodwill. Remember all the crud that was on it? Look at how amazing and beautiful it is now. It's restored. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.